Hello, Jeffrey. This is Damon, Extreme Bait Tanks. Your custom 18 gallon bait tank is finished. This is a 20 gallon footprint, but instead of being 26 inches tall, it's 24. By, by bringing it down two inches, it, it takes it down to 18 for the bait. You have a lower three quarter inch drain, inside black walls, a 12 volt pump and a 12 volt LED currently running. And then when you want to switch over at night, you go to your 110 infuser cap. This is your 110 cord. It'll simply lay over the gasket and you lid down over it. Always make sure you plug into a GFI outlet. Disconnect from your battery. And remember, 12 volt, not 24 or 36, 12 volt max. Now you have your 110 running. What's great about the 110 option, as you know, this is what I call putting your bait to bed. These 12 volt pumps are not designed for continuous run. So it gives your pump a break. You can sleep well knowing your batteries are charging, your bait's good, wake up and repeat. This is your skimmer. The real purpose of the skimmer is if you ever get a bait jam down below and this water starts to rise, the skimmer gives the water a place to go so you don't wake up to a dead tank. Serial number in the top right hand corner for identification purposes. And there again, you'll see 18 gallons. In the back, you have a single standpipe that goes into two filter socks and a skimmer. Never let these bags dry dirty. When you're done, turn them inside out, rinse, and repeat. Two quick connects for your 12 volt pump and light. I'll send you with a two to one pigtail and alligator clips to your battery. QR code for the online manual. We're gonna get a box this up headed your way. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call. Until then, we hope you have an extreme day. Hello, Jeffrey, Lane, and Bob. I'm Damon Melch with Extreme Bait Tanks. I thought I'd give you a little tour of our shop. We'll start here in the lobby. We have a little trophy wall. These are some of the different places and boats we've been on over the years delivering tanks. This one particularly was pretty cool where we got to go fishing with Dave Marciano, caught a 300 pound tuna, and he was kind enough to give us the tail and the hook. Big old hook with 200 pound test. Took us about three hours to get that fish in. And here's our little 50 gallon aquarium. We uh, have an oxygen box, that's a 110. We created that for DIY guys that have homemade projects where they can drop that in and it'll circulate, filter, and oxygenate the water, just like a bait tank. Hey, let's go out into the shop and I'll show you around. This is our break area. A lot of times we'll get a logo sent to us and they'll ask us to put it on the lid of a tank or a cutting board. And we have to do a, we have to do a test cut on some material before we actually put it onto the tank. So we decided to hang up our samples in here. This is a display of all the different things that we've done. In here's where all the magic happens. We get all of our flats, our eighth inch material for the walls, half inch for tops and bottoms. There's our router where we custom cut everything. And then we shelf the pieces. And what Vern's doing over there is the welding process. It's a multiple stage process. The first thing that we do is we put the inside wall in. And if you recall, there's two walls, an inner and an outer. And this line here is where the second wall goes in. That creates that one inch air pocket. Once this wall is put in and welded, we'll soak it in water overnight to ensure we have a watertight weld. And here's an example of the two walls together getting ready for the cap. This is the time that we add drains because we have to put a hole through an air pocket. And what Vern's doing here is he's welding the wall that separates the bait from the filter area. This space over here is Wayne, he's our finisher. We'll get the ticket on the tank and based on how it's ordered, where the drains go, what kind of pumps, the wiring, Wayne will finish that out. Hey, Wayne. Yes. Say hi to Jeffrey, Bob, and Lane. Hello, Jeffrey, Bob, and Lane. This is their, their 18 gallon getting ready to go out. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful tank. But Wayne is a master at finishing out tanks. I can't tell you how excited we are to be on your boat. As always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call. And until then, we hope you have an extreme day.